So what we have here, where's our toolbar? It's right over here. There we go. What we have here is our diffuse. I'll just zoom that back out. We have our diffuse, which is here. Our occlusion, which is here. And again, I'm just going to focus on the torso because it's exactly the same process for the limbs. And I've also created a UV snapshot. This is just going to guide us and tell us where our UVs are go are well are. Now, first of all, I like to get rid of our, any sort of issues we may have with uh, seams. And what's happening is the black is bleeding through to the yellow, and that's why we're getting those sort of texture seams. So let's just duplicate that background color there. What we need to do first is just strip these down so there's nothing apart from the um, the main material the main texture that we need now what we could do is just set our tolerance to zero turn off anti-aliasing turn off contagious and just see how that selection works and that should just select that black background color and nothing else and it has which has worked quite well what I'm going to do now is just select, modify, expand that by two pixels. Now, depending on the size of the map, you may only want to expand by one pixel. So what I'm going to do is select the... So for the diffuse, I'm just going to delete that. Go up to the occlusion and delete that. So as you can see, the areas which aren't actually textured are now transparent. So now I'm just going to fill those in. I'm just going to go to filter flaming pair now this is something that you can download online they're absolutely free um, there's lots of other plugins that come with this package but I really like these because they're just they're just perfect for fixing texture seams and rather than just doing it at the beginning like we are now I always do it right at the very end when I finish the texture just to double check and make sure there's no seams so flaming pair and these solidifies um, will work slightly differently but I'm just going to do solidify A like so just let it work its magic as you can see what it's done is it's bleeded it's sort of taken the edge pixels and, and sort of bleeded them into each other bled them into each other let's just uh, image adjust let's just invert that turn that to multiply and then we can see through our UV just zoom in a little bit here just so we can see so as you can see here this grey has now been bled out to the black the, yellow, the black has bled out to the yellow and we can do the same for the occlusion map filter flaming pair solidify A and there that has just softened the edges of that occlusion map as well so that's a good way to fix texture seams so let's just zoom out again. I'm just going to move this a little bit over here, just very slightly, just so we can see the full map. So now we have those, we need to sort of think about how we're going to blend these together. So I'm just going to duplicate the occlusion map. The first one I'm going to set to multiply and reduce the opacity to 50%. Oops, let's move that back over so you can see like so. The next one I'm going to set this one to soft light and again I'm going to reduce that to 50% and as you can see what we've got now is the occlusion let's just show you those two separately so this is soft light and it's almost burn, giving you a burnt out colour but it's giving you this lighting as well and also darkening those areas you could use overlay if you want it a little bit stronger but it's entirely up to you so soft light overlay we'll leave it at soft light for now because we're going to use this next layer set to multiply and that's just going to darken those darker areas those sort of shadowy areas a little bit more so there a few simple steps and we've basically got the starting uh, blocks for our texture we can save this out now um, and then we can just continue to work on top of this 
and add in more details and start to work in our grain and our dirt and our rust and things like that. So let's just switch back to photo, uh, Maya, sorry. And here we have the combined version. And as you can see, those texture seams have gone. There's a slight one there, but that could be just because Maya's viewport is uh, reducing the texture size, so you're getting a little bit of bleed through there. We've got a seam here, but remember, this is the very early stages of this texture. We could always uh, touch those up in Photoshop and fix them anyway. So if I just compare, this is before, this is the diffuse, and this is the diffuse and the occlusion map combined. So as you can see, we've got a lot more depth to this, and it looks a lot more solid. So with that done, the next stages are now to just focus purely on the textures and just go straight into Photoshop and just start building up um, the details and the dirt and the rust. Let's just turn off, turn on default lighting. Just see the difference between just the diffuse and it still looks quite flat. Whereas that, it's just got that extra bit of depth. Let's just see if we can have both in the scene at the same time. Compare like this. So here we go, the, just the diffuse and then the diffuse with uh, the ambient occlusion applied to it. So I'm going to leave things there. We've explored baking out your various maps and applying them in Photoshop, multiplying them, layering them up, and also fixing some of the, the texture seams using that Flaming Pair plugin. So, that's it for this video. In the next video, we will start to explore um, and working more on our textures and adding in the dirt and the rust and the worn away edges.